The RIT men's hockey team was back on the ice this afternoon. They're practicing for their first ever appearance in the Frozen Four. Players going to Detroit yep. next week, right, for the yeah. chance of the NCAA they're, championship. They're getting ready. This is going to be a lot of fun. They still have got a little time to work on it. The uh, RIT Tigers really are the biggest story in college hockey. No one outside their own locker room and maybe inside, too, believed they'd be making it to the national semifinals in Detroit next week. But they've gotten that done now. They're going. The goal to go to Detroit and try to win it all. 13 Whams Chuck Wade joins us live from the campus of RIT where he got to watch the team's first practice since the stunning wins in Albany this weekend. Chuck? <laughs> Yeah, Mike, actually the Tigers just got off the rink about 15 minutes ago. Not the hardest practice they went through this year. Their first actual on-ice workout since they returned from Albany this weekend. You know, last week they were just happy to be in the NCAA tournament, let alone winning the first regional. But they did that, and now since then they have been the center of attention in Rochester and in the whole hockey world for that matter. They dealt with the media today, talking to several TV stations, several newspaper reporters were here. These guys love the attention they're getting. They say it's great for the school, great for the program. Even around campus, these guys are starting to be, no to be noticed more and more since making hockey history here in Rochester. I think right now, you know, we got practice starting again, watching video on Wisconsin. I, th I think the fun has kind of ended. We, you know, had fun, you know, after the game that night. And, but now it's back to work. We still have a goal ahead of us, um, still two games away. And, I guess that's what our focus is now. I can tell you that we're excited to get back to practice. Uh, we're looking forward to getting on the ice, uh, working on some things. Uh, we know that Wisconsin has a great team, and we need to be focused. But at the same time, we need to have fun with it and remember that it's a game. And if we play hard against them, uh, hopefully we can, we can sneak out a win. Yeah, now these, the Tigers don't actually play for another eight days. It's their second longest layoff between games all season long. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to talk to them about the waiting and whether that's a good thing yeah. or a bad thing as they get ready to take on Wisconsin next Thursday. Yeah, quickly, Chuck. One says, well, the fun's over, but the goalie says we got to have fun, right? I guess it depends on your personality. Well, and at some point, you got to stop having fun and enjoying what you did and think about what you're going to try and do in a week. Thursday is the day they say they're really going to get down to work. All right, we'll check back with you at 6 o'clock. We'll continue all of our coverage on RIT Hockey. All right, thank you, Mike. And 13 Wham is going to air a Frozen Four special on April 7th, 8 o'clock, live. Uh, look at the... Uh the highlight of the historic hockey season for a look at the Tigers hockey season and complete coverage of the Frozen Four. Log on to 13wham.com and click on the green Find It button.